Hey there, this is Lord Roach. I'm uh, going to be casting a Portal 2 session. Uh, I've never played Portal 2. I'm really excited uh, to get this started because uh, my, all my, basically all my friends that got decent PCs have played Portal 2. And uh, for a while they were wanting me to play this game, trying to get me to play it. So finally I'm playing it and I figured what a great time to play on one of my first casts ever. So not only is this my first time casting, it'll be my first time playing Portal 2. Uh, I played the first one on the Xbox. Uh, I really liked it. Uh, I chose Portal 2 because I, I think it's uh, really entertaining um, to see how uh, people try to solve the puzzles and stuff like that and what, what goes through their minds. And I think it'll be cool uh, for my friends to watch this because, you know, for me, whenever I'm playing a game that I know a friend of mine's playing, like, I'll get to a puzzle and be like, oh, man, that took me 30 seconds to beat. I bet it'll take, you know, Luke or Tobes freaking, you know, 20 minutes to beat this. But So this will be interesting for them to watch to see. Um, hopefully, if I, if I get stuck too long at a puzzle, I'm not just going to sit there. Uh, I might actually just pause it and come back to it when I solve it if I spend more than five minutes or so on it. Uh, just so that it doesn't get boring. Unless it's super entertaining, me trying to figure it out, but. Anyways, uh, just wanted to... Let's get started. Uh, okay. Not going to talk much for the introduction, because uh, I, like I said, never played it. I do want to see it, so I'll just watch the intro, and we'll pick it up after that. If the loading is going to take this long, I might cut the loading. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Good. Now please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Hello? Are you going to open the door? At any time? Ah! Oh, God. You look um good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please time. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all calm. <laughs> all right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Oh. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you, do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. 
Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still oh holding God. on? I got that out of here. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. <laughs> Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? <laughs> oh, I see, no, I hit that one. I hit that one. Oh, man. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Oh. Good uh. news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. <laughs> uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Nice, good job. And I'm not, not a scratch on me. Oh, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Alrighty. Well, thank you. Uh, I'll probably turn All right. the music down. Off you go. Alright. <laughs> Off I go. But I'll probably wind up turning the music oh, just down. March on through that hole. Is he gonna come with me? Yeah, it's all right. Go ahead. That's the spirit. Yeah. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. All right. Portal. I'm psyched. All right, this is cool. All right, okay. All right, this is going to be a shorter video. Uh, my next uh, video is going to be a little bit longer, probably more in the half hour uh, region. This one's only going to be whatever 15 20 minutes or so just to get the introduction out of the way get my feet wet uh, figure out this whole exactly what I'm doing and uh, next ones will be longer uh, a little more gameplay so I'm looking forward to it I'm definitely looking forward to playing some portal cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science even in a dire emergency if cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Huh. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Imagine if they really invented that. I wonder how much something like this would cost. That'd be kind of sweet, though. I mean, like... You're going in the airport, and you don't got to worry about going through security and shit. You just walk through this, you get right in on your plane. No problems, no hassle, no. That's pretty sweet. 
I would like that. Oh, oh. Except that you're bringing your $400 cell phone that fries it. Alright. Very cool. I don't know. I might cut out these loading screens. I don't know. I'll leave them for now in this video just because. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside <laughs> <the> ear. <laughs> All right. First one. Man, the graphics and the sound and everything are much improved in this game. From the first one. All right. Just walk through this. Alright, so there's a cube somewhere. Right there. Alright, there we go. That's what I need. Get that cube out. Yeah, get these super simple puzzles out of the way like I wanted to. Alright, let's do this. Man, I haven't played a PC game besides uh, Dota in a long time. It's a little weird playing a first pe person. For me, I'm gonna get used. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to the controls. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> yep, definitely cutting out the loading scenes. Probably not in this video, uh, or else me talking right now would be completely useless. But uh, definitely in the next video. Governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Haha, <laughs> they're bowing to him. That is hilarious. That's gonna be a hard boss, I'm sure. That's terrific. That's terrific. <laughs> Animal King take over. Hey! You made it! Hey, what's up, dude? There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. There we go. Whoa! Probably should have waited. Can you see the portal gun? Oh, that was a soft landing. Also, yeah, no big deal. Safe. That's important. You've asked uh. that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive. And yep. I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. Just a 30 foot I'll drop. No big deal. Hour, then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body. <laughs> 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 Uh, I see why people like him so much. He is funny. Yeah, there's some cake, of course. The cake's here. The companion cube's here. We're all here. That's good. What are these supposed to be like, uh... From the first game? Yep. Yep, that's funny. GLaDOS. Little, uh, hieroglyphics going on here. Just so you can remember, uh... What happened in the first game. Alright! Sweet. Sick. Oh, that's cool. It's got like a little locator. So you can uh, see where you uh, your last teleport thing is. That's pretty neat. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. 
Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics. To yeah. Share. We'll see. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. So far, so good. Super excited. This game is pretty cool so far. <laughs> Can't wait to get into more difficult stuff. I wonder if I could do a dual cast with, uh... This like... next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I was digging that. Man, they're going really easy on you in the beginning of this game. <clears throat> oh! Oh! <laughs> I love Portal. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, this will probably be, uh... This will probably be my last puzzle for today. I think it'll be a good spot to stop here. After this, of course. Alright, let's see. So... Is it one of these? Nice and easy. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are spec are spec are section on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Haha, <laughs> little bit of lag there. That's all right though. Nothing too crazy. Oh 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 oh. Is that where I came from? Yeah, I can't go on there. Locked. Denied. I'm gonna make myself sick with all this jittery emotion. I think I'll go up here first. Hmm. Whoops. Oh no, I got turned around. Which way do I go? Over this way. There we go. Alrighty. Well, until next time, I will end this cast. I'll, I'll call this uh, intro, and uh, the next one will be called part one. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, look forward to the next session. Alright, peace out.